Howdy guys. I was gonna shoot some squid, but I guess they despawned. Curse you, squid. I've always wanted to shoot the squid out of a pool. Oh, there's some squid over there. Can I take it? Let me take the shot. Take that. Uh, I think they despawned. Because there were two, and that one also disappeared, so I don't think I hit it. I think it despawned before it hit it. Probably as the arrow was like two inches from its face. But yeah, I was kind of shooting some squids, and while I was up there, I thought, hey, now seems like as good a time as any to record an episode. There's a spider somewhere. Oh well. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that. Finally, do that. And you're gonna watch it. If you look down at the bottom of the screen, I have 29 levels. So, yeah, almost to 30. Ignore that, that's next episode. Could not help myself to start the building before recording the episode that is this one. But I think I finally have everything together, so. That, there's nothing of any importance in there. Well, there's everything of importance to me in there, but. This is the chest we're focusing on right now. And it currently has uh, this little, this little ditty. This little ditty right here, which I may have to turn my sounds down for. So I'm going to do that ahead of time, and then we'll turn it up incrementally. So first of all, let's turn our sounds down. And this is a radio. Block it down. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Shush up. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So I have a radio now. I'll just plonk that there. Turn it off. And then we have these, which is something I've been wanting for quite a long time. I don't know why my mouse goes straight up every time I exit the chest. It's weird. But these are... Longfall boots, and you make you make a single longfall boot, and then another single longfall boot, and you put them in the crafting recipe, like in the crafting table, like this, and it makes two uh, a pair of longfall boots. Bam, and then you put them on your feet, and along with negating all fall damage, they also have the armor equivalent of diamond shoes, and they never break. They have absolutely no durability. And by that, I mean they have infinite durability. I suppose either way works. But I have no need for these bronze shoes. Thank you very much. And then we have this, which... I'll just keep the obsidian in my inventory, and we'll build that at the end of the episode. And then we have these, which are something... That's pretty cool, I suppose. Just go here. I've seen some people on the YouTubes that use these for all of their storage, but I wouldn't go that far. They're not that amazing. But I will be using them because they store a lot of things. And you do that. You right click and it puts a stack into this here barrel. I don't know if you saw that it was called a barrel, but these are barrels. And it'll tell you how much is in there, 64. Left click to take it out, and it went into my backpack. Dang it. Give me that back. It went into my backpack, but yeah. So you take a stack of something, and you can put it in. And then this holds 64 stacks of things. And we're going to need to hold a lot of things. So that's why I want to make these. So we'll grab those. Good, you get them back. Um, and then we're going to make this. Which is actually two crafting recipes. One that should be very familiar to you. Redstone torches. Put a bit of lapis on top. Gets you a landmark. And these are for determining the sizes of dif the, of the uh, affected areas of different different build craft things like this one that we're going to build right here these next four crafting recipes are all for the same 
same thing. So we're going to call up all of this iron, these seven stone gears, these eight diamonds, and these twelve gold. Sorry, sixteen gold. And let's see here. First of all, we're going to make seven of these iron gears. And then we're going to want to turn four of them into golden gears. One, two, three, four. And two of these golden gears, not three, but two. Two of these golden gears into diamond gears. And then take this piece of redstone and this diamond pickaxe. This diamond pickaxe can't be used, by the way. It has to be freshly crafted. And you put that there, and I believe it's diamond, diamond, gold, gold, no, gold, gold, iron, iron, iron. Yep, gives you a quarry, and this is going to do a heck of a lot of digging for us. Just grab that, one little block, one very expensive little block, but wait, there's more. Not only was there all of this with crafting recipes, but there's also all of this with crafting recipes. And this is something cool that I hope I have, I'm going to make enough of, because it would be kind of strange to have to make more. But, uh, six of these, 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 six of these. Six of these. Gives you scaffold. 64 of them. 32 of them. Stack and a half of scaffold. These are really cool. I'll show you what those do later when we're building the frame for the uh, the quarry. And then these next uh, three crafting recipes are all for one item. And this is one that we're going to be using this episode as well. And I just totally forgot how to make it. Oh, wait. Wait. Yeah, I got it. Maybe? No, I don't know. Machine... Machine frame? Is that what it's called? No. Powered... Powered furnace. It is called a machine frame. I guess I was misspelling machine. Oh, it's gold in the center. Oh, I see why I was confused now. Like that, 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 that. Gives you a machine frame. Gold there, redstone, redstone. Gives you a redstone reception coil. Pretty fancy. Not in there. Uh, in here, and we take our bricks. And our copper. And our redstone, and we make ourselves a powered furnace. Plonk, plonk, plonkity plonk, plonk, and a plonk. Yep, powered furnace. Alright, grab this silver ore. And, uh, then we got one engine that I would like to, to try. I'm going to add it to our system. And, uh, we'll see how it works out. Because I'm interested into in the uh, the steam engines, and we're gonna make a hobbyist steam engine. You make it just like any other engine, except where you would normally put uh, the item that's associated with that normal steam engine. You put gold nuggets, and you ha use these gold-plated gears. That will give you a hobbyist's steam engine. Take one of those. That's it. That's all the things. And so we'll fetch our radio, have a bit of a snooze. Of course, leaving the door right open so all my stuff can be blown up. Very important. And uh, we'll head on out. Taking a look around, got some burning guys over there. And I added this pathway too, and this uh, completely unnecessary 
underground piping right here. Just like this really short area of underground piping. That's fine. Do I have my... Yeah, I have my golden pipes. I hope I have enough of those. But, um... Yeah, we're just going to add this into the system. Well, bam. Oh dear, I didn't think about that. Hmm, I don't have my wrench on me. Oh well, we'll just leave that. Okay, this is weird anyway. We'll do that later. I just wanted to build the thing. And uh, what I wanted to get started right now was this powered furnace. Put the thing you're smelting here. Comes out here. These are really intuitive blocks because you can actually change the configuration of them. And orange is here and blue is here. And it really helps when you're trying to pipe things out of these sorts of things. But, um, yeah. So I guess I'll turn on... Where does the ones with 8 start? This one with 8? That one has 7. 8, 8. So we're going to turn on this one and this one. And this. And then plonk 64 of those in there. And that should smelt them up. We'll see if this, this works. Redstone control. Hmm. Energy. Power usage, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Maximum power, 2.0 MJ. Energy storage. Well, that's perfect, because that's exactly how much two of these produces. 2 MJ. So when this gets up to maximum power usage, this should be going fairly, it's fairly speedy. Plunk these last two in there. Grab that. Silver ore. Very nice. And now let's set up our quarry. And so we're going to have one corner here. Oh, that's... Hmm, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Wait, I can do it there. Can I just not place it in water? Is that the thing here that's the problem? Because I'm right-clicking there. Oh well, give me some cobble. Let me destroy that. Now can I place it? No. What about now? Yep. And so what you do, hmm, is what I just did right there by accident, is you left click on this, and it adds one to the very top. And so you can just do that, and now it's four tall. Oh, sorry, just hit the mic. Um... There was a fly on my face. Now that's four tall. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Does water wash this away? No. Because these don't tend these tend not to act a lot like normal blocks, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And do I have my wood my spruce stair with me? No. I left it at home. Oh well. And so we'll move over here, and this is where the other corner will be. So we'll plunk that in there. Boop, boop. Do three and four. And move all of that. And now we're going to follow this line out to, I guess, here is good. Hopefully, this is still on the line. Boop. One, two, three, four. I believe you can climb these like ladders. Yes, that is why I wanted to use them, because you can climb up like ladders. And now we move over. I hate movement in water. It's so slow. But yeah. What is the coordinates for over here. This is negative 226. So I stay negative 226. I drifted into 225, 226. Right here. Make sure I'm lined up there. What? Why did this one place there? Oh well. 
Does that look on target to you? That looks on target. And that looks on target. So I guess, yeah. Three and four. So there we go. There's our general frame. And then I wanted to connect it. Oh. I guess I have to right click. Let's climb up there and get rid of that. Q. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Oh. Uh. Yep, there's a limit. You can only go out two from uh, one of those types of things. That's fine. It's mainly for aesthetics anyway. So just... Like that. And over here. Like that. And over here. There and there. Not there. And this is going to destroy the one above it. Isn't it? No, it didn't. Cool. I didn't need nearly as many as I had. I didn't need nearly as many as I made. But I was pretty worried that I would make too little. Anyway. Now I have nine of these conductive wires. So I'm going to put them right up alongside this. Right up there. And on top of it. Wait, not yet. Not yet. I need to put landmark there. Landmark there. Swim over here. Probably should have done this while I was over here. Swim up here. Landmark there. Landmark there. Give it a little right click. And it creates this nice little red square. And now I can run up there and place this quarry block. If I speed up this pipe. Now, is there a blue line running through here? No, I'm sure it'll. I'm sure it will though when I place this quarry though. I said though twice then. That looks pretty cool. Looking down these pipes, block, perfect. But now I'm stuck in the quarry block. Stuck in the quarry. Get me out. Oh dear. How do I get out of here? Hmm. Wish I had, wait, I do. I was gonna say I wish I have an end, I had an ender pearl, but I do have an ender pearl. I always keep an ender pearl on me. Give me that back. Thank you. Yaw. Good. Now let's see what we can do here. I know what I need to do. I need those spruce wood stairs I've been I was talking about earlier. Let's see what we got in the old chest boxes. Uh, we got two stairs. And I want six stairs. So it makes more of those. There we go. And these barrels will be used at some point. But currently, I've just made them. Because I need... A certain kind of uh, a certain kind of pipe before I can use them to any useful extent. Oh dear, this is not turning out the way I wanted it to. That <laughs> like that. Oh dear, it started digging. Oh snap, apple. Would you look at that? He's just spewing out, spatting out items. Get rid of you. Stop that right now. We, I forgot we would need a transport pipes on the top. I guess I'll do that. Is this furnace done cooking? Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, wow. 
turn you guys off. Those Sterling engines go through coal faster than I would have hoped. And that's not a good thing. <laughs> it sounded kind of like a po like it had a positive connotation, but it didn't. That was intended to be and sound like a bad thing. Because it is. And let me see here. What have I got? Oh, that's right. This right here. This is something that I wanted to do today. Oh, I should probably make the pipes. Making the pipes. And also a chest. So, make a chest. Do I have any gravel? Yes, I do. I just thought of something that may make this quite a bit easier. Let me open. I have three of these. And I can make some more. Video is running pretty long though. So I best to speed things up. Let's see though. What, what did I need? I need cobble. I have cobble, right? Yes, I do. Let's make a bunch of these. How many will this make? Half stack. It's fine. Right there. My inventory was so nice at the beginning of this. Uh, let's let's go. Let's go. And we can just climb right up. And now... Two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. And this is, of course, a very temporary setup. Uh, barrel, barrel, barrel. Chest. And now these barrels can only receive very specific items after they've been labeled. So maybe, well, maybe if I label them by add, I really gotta stop putting my backpack in these. Um, maybe if I label them first with the item, now the now the pipes will ignore these when they have other items, and it will send all the excess to this chest. That's the plan anyway. Not sure how well it will work in practice. Pipes are connecting. Oh, you can't shift click to place on a chest. That's kind of annoying. Bam, and bam. And that should work now. No promises though. Hook it up. Let's turn on, let's just turn on, let's go totally buck wild and just turn on all of the engines. I want to see this puppy running at max capacity. A solid blue line running through, looking good. Let's see this thing run. Let's get on up here, oh, I can't, if I can get on up here. I don't like that bug. They really need to fix that bug. Oh, I totally forgot about sand. I should have had a. I should have a barrel for sand. I guess sand is a very specific thing, though. It's only going to be in this layer. But yeah, look at that. Look how fast that goes. That is running eight EU. I mean eight uh, MJs per tick, I believe. Yeah, that's pretty good. And it shouldn't dig an up any leaves, which is good. I plan to have everything inside of the leaf border totally mined up. And since we're go running on 25 minutes here, I'm going to quickly make this nether portal. And we will we'll see about going into it next next time. One, two, three, four. 
two, three, four, two. Uh, two. Sorry. <laughs> but um, that's as good a way as any to end off the episode. Because I don't have a flint and tinder. Silly. So yeah. Fare thee well. And to you, a merry end of the day or beginning of the day or wherever, whatever time period it is when you're watching this video.